Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Dana Code and this is going to be episode 2 of Railroad Corporation. In this episode I'd like to um, start, at least start mission 2 and get, get maybe halfway through it or something like that. Um, and uh, this mission is called Real Deals. Basically it's going to be delivering textiles and building up our railroad uh, corporation, which, yeah, hence the name I guess. <laughs> um, but anyway, so um, yeah, and it's still kind of like tutorial mode. It's still kind of introducing us to a few things like uh, employees and uh, uh, things like that. So anyways, um, to get started with this, you know, I've played this mission a couple times already. The first time I played the mission, uh, I don't know, there was some sort of bug. Um, the trains just sort of stopped at um, one of the stations. Let me press pause here. And they, they wouldn't start back up and it didn't look like there was any blockage so there's kind of a weird I think maybe it was a bug because I noticed that it happened when um, after I upgraded the station like for the second upgrade or third upgrade or something like that like the first upgrade was fine but like the second or third upgrade um, the station uh, for some reason it kind of made the trains go all wonky basically so um, I'm going to try to avoid that because I don't even think we need like the second upgrade maybe third upgrade I'll probably do a second upgrade but the third upgrade I, I'm pretty I'm uh, almost 100% sure it was the third upgrade that did it but uh, yeah so we'll kind of avoid that for now and uh, I'll figure that out later but basically the first route what we're gonna do we're, we're gonna go from Cookville here which is providing uh, wheat and our starting city is Knoxville so we're gonna deliver that wheat to Knoxville um, later on in the episode or in the uh, mission I should say um, Knoxville starts uh, stops accepting wheat um, but we don't have to worry about that for a while we just need to build up again the strategy here to win at this game that I can see is to m make sure that in the beginning you have a good um, a good profitable rail rail line even though you're not going uh, and doing the mission goals you want to start with a very profitable uh, route to get your money flowing and get the upgrades you need and whatnot. And also, uh, <laughs> along those lines, you do not want to go into debt because the um, the interest will kill you on your uh, on your bank draft. I mean, you only have fifty thousand dollar bank draft, but uh, it, the interest will just absolutely just stop the game progress. Um, anyways, okay. So just to start, we're going to do a simple line. And I'm going to try to go through the trees, <laughs> um, try to avoid any expensive line um, costs. I'm not really too concerned about um, curves and things like that at the moment. And I want to kind of undo that last bit. There we go. And then resume. Um, not too worried about curves, as I said. But I really like to not make the track too expensive, basically. Uh, so we're just going to kind of come in here and go down and just go right into Cookville. Kind of like that. I think that'll be all right. Yeah, that, look, that looks good. Um, I think, let me see what we got here. So we got... Soil excavation is not too bad. Obviously, we don't need any bridges and tunnels. Um, and the rails, yeah, so that's not too bad. So 14,000. Good. Okay, so we got that. And we're just going to put a train on there. And we still just have the best friend. Um, we still have to research and get, like, the John Bull, which is the next one. But uh, we'll do that for now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to do a wheat train going from... Cookville, as I said, going to Knoxville. Um, and that's it. So that's the first one. And then I'd like to also go ahead and come down here to Chattanooga. This is kind of going to be a spoke in our rail line here um, because we're eventually going to uh, hook up to Nashville because we're going to buy the textile factory, which is one of our goals. And there's a textile factory in uh, Nashville as you can see and to find it to buy it you just click on this name here and it'll highlight it in green and then you can just kind of click on it and to buy that it's going to be uh, 46,000 so uh, keeping that in mind 
um, that we need at least four to six thousand before we buy that. Anyways, um, which isn't too bad. Let's see. Um, so yeah, so I'd like to extend this line going from Cookville here, going down to Chattanooga. So let's do that real quick. Because I'd like to get some passenger rail going from Knoxville to Chattanooga. And that'll be like a pretty good money maker, I think. Uh, let's see. So 14000 that's not too bad. Keeping the cost down low there. Good. All right. It's, just, it's a short little jaunt. <laughs> not too long anyways. Um, okay. So, and with that in mind, let's go ahead and buy one more train and do some passengers. Uh, we'll do three. We can do four. We can do, yeah, we can do four, but it'll go really slow. As you can see down here, um, if we do four, we're only doing uh, 11 out of 39 miles per hour, and that's very slow. Um, so we don't want to do that. Um, and eventually we'll pick up passengers from Chattanooga and drop them off at Nashville, or uh, Knoxville, actually. And we'll just kind of repeat that same pattern here with three and three. And apply. That should be good to go for our first trains. Now, I think we have enough to, because I want to double track this line from Chattanooga to Knoxville, I mean to uh, Cooksville. And then uh, double track also going from Knoxville to Cooksville. So let's do that real quick as well as our trains are on their way. Let's kind of look at these. So there's T1, Terminator 1, I mean uh, Train 1. <laughs> and T2 is waiting for him to go. And that's why, that is another reason why we want, want to double track this because T2, well uh, actually T2 is waiting for passengers. So it'll it, it, it would probably go. Um, and start its route even though T1 was on the line. I have noticed um, something weird and I don't know if anybody can confirm this but when I'm building up a track and I'm building it in sections like for some reason those sections like say I'm building let's just kinda hold on, let's pause this real quick and say I'm building from here and here's one section, right? And then I click on that, and here's another section, I click on that, and here's another section, I click on that. So if I'm building it like that, um, each of those sections pretends that it has, even though you can't see them, it acts like it has a signal to it. So each of those are like block sections. So that's what they're acting like. I don't, I'm not 100% sure of that, but that's what it seems to me. Um, let's cancel this. And like, if we only if so if we did that in four sections kind of like this it would be that's that's a block section there hello there we go so that would be a block section there that would be a block section there that would be a block section there so that's what it seems like to me I don't know if anybody can confirm that um, again I haven't played too much of this but I've played enough to like observe that like, sometimes when you make the tracks on one long section um, and there's two trains on that track going on the same way they will wait where it seems like I have clicked on a section like made that a section of track if that makes any sense anyways so getting on let's go ahead and double track these and with that said when we double track them what we're gonna do is we're gonna go and build it in pretty small sections Kind of like that. I don't know why my there it goes. <laughs> my clicker ain't working. Darn. Yeah. So hopefully, I don't know. If that's my theory or that's my observations, and uh, maybe it's right, maybe it's wrong. I don't know. But these need to be double tracked, anyways. I mean, that just goes without saying. Um. Okay. So we got that one. Let's get this one here. All. Double tracked. This way it double tracks is very weird. It doesn't doesn't lock into like the sections too well. It's okay. I mean, it's workable, but it's not great. I hope they fix that again. Early access, so little weird things like that. 
are to be expected. All right, looks good to me. Confirm. All right, so, and now that we're delivering uh, wheat, oh, um, I wanna put on one more train. I wanna deliver uh, wheat also from Cooksville to Chattanooga, because when we start doing that, we have, um, we'll have the farm here start making meat and also start making um, leather, which is one of our uh, major objectives. Uh, the leather, because then we'll eventually deliver the leather from Chattanooga all the way to Knoxville here to our clothes factory, and then it'll start making clothes after we deliver both leather and textile. So with that said, let's go ahead and uh, let me unpause here. So we, we're making money, <laughs> might help. And let's buy one more train. And hopefully I don't go into debt here. And we'll do one, two, three here. And then we'll deliver them to the farm in Chattanooga. Perfect. Um, okay, so I think we're doing well so far. There goes T3 making his maiden voyage. T2 is still yet to get some passengers going there. But that's all right. I mean, I, I want it to be three even now because he's waiting there. He's not, I think he's waiting, when he's waiting there, he's not accruing like maintenance fees and whatnot. Um, I may be mistaken. I don't know. But uh, it's cheaper for him to wait for passengers is what I'm saying. And eventually there'll be a lot more passengers here at Knoxville. So that won't be a problem either. All right. So T3 is going down to pick up his wheat, bring it down to Chattanooga, and T1 is getting ready to deliver here his wheat. We finally got passengers for T2, very good. And there we go. Very nice. Okay. And another thing I want to do here is I definitely want to make sure that I have at least... Um, a repair station here at Knoxville and one down here at um, Chattanooga and eventually I'll have one over here in, in Nashville as well and that should cover most trains that all the most train routes um, but we don't need them now we're all green so we're good there we will need them pretty quickly but that's good for now okay so my next track is going to be um, next route is going to be from Cooksville to Nashville. I think that is the best one to go for there. Next. Okay, so what are we looking at? 14,000. And it looks like T1's coming into the station here. And when he picks up, he's going to be picking up and cost about $800 per car for the wheat. So that'll bring it down a little bit there. Or Plus maintenance, obviously, 411 there for maintenance. Yeah, so $800 each for each car. Although, yeah, so we just had someone deliver something. <laughs> it's just, where's, oh, T3 delivered uh, wheat to Chattanooga. Cool, okay, so we should have enough to go on here. And I kind of want to do it, I kind of want to make a spur out this way and kind of go through these trees so that's what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna kind of spur it out this way and again I want to make sure that I do very discreet sections here very small discreet sections here if it'll click for me and can I go through Ooh, that's almost perfect 17,000 it's not too bad I like it okay so there's that, and with that, I'd like to start delivering at least passengers, make sure that we're making some money there. And we can also, I think, deliver wheat here? No. So what do we got here? We got um, furniture, clothes, meat. We can do meat and passengers. So that's what they want. And we have some meat down here. So we're going to deliver the meat from here to here, although we'd have to put another split. Uh, we're going to do it eventually anyways, but um, only after we double track, I think. Actually, no, we can probably just do it now. Yeah, let's just do it now. What the hell? <laughs> Who cares? I think we're good. We got enough. Got enough. 
And this is wonky too. Sometimes. There we go. Uh, railroad occupied by train, so we're gonna have to wait for these trains to get the hell out of my way. So I can build my truck. My truck. My truck track. Track. Whatever. <laughs> uh, come on. I think when T2 goes over this rail here. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. Nice looking spur. Um, nice looking junction. Okay, and I don't think we need any crossovers here. I think we'll be all right. Or crossovers here we should be good with just doing it on this outside line here. Uh, okay, so let's go ahead and stick on. Oh, you know what? You know what? You know what? You know what? I want to start doing research. So I think we'll we'll do one more train, then we'll start doing research. Because I definitely want to get that going. Because I definitely want the John Bulls. Um, so we're gonna do just one, two, three passengers here. Eventually we'll get the passengers from there and drop them off. Do the same thing here for Knoxville. That should be a good little money maker right there. All right, so many things to do. <laughs> That's what I like about this game, by the way. It's like, you're never bored. It's like, okay, I really need to get uh, I need to concentrate on getting a repair station here. I need to concentrate on getting money to buy the textile factory up there in, I uh, can't remember the name, Nashville. <laughs> Sorry, Nashville. And I need to start doing my research. So there's always this list of things that I got to do. Um, sometimes I get a little bored of playing other railroad games or other like uh, tycoon games. Any, any tycoon game is really just kind of waiting there going, uh, something's going to happen. Um, okay. So, research. So we're going to need at least $10,000 for that. And then the research and development is going to be another so $15,000 complete there. And we're also going to have to do the HR department, but we have a little time for that. Um, staff to hire, so 447 days. So we're okay there. And we got 271 days to buy the textile factory as well. So we're doing good. We're doing great, I think. So T2, wait, what was my last train? T4, Nashville, where are you? So you're well on your way, cool. And this is probably gonna be pretty big because um, passengers, um, the price of the passenger cars, or the car, or the uh, how much profit it makes you, is dependent on the length of the route. And this is a pretty long route. I mean, it's going from one side of the map to the other, so. Pretty, pretty long route. I'd like to see. Let me see. Let's see here. Boy, they really do go slow around these uh, junctions. It's okay, though. Um, Alright, so we have 28. I think research is going to be our first goal there because our trains. Oh, uh, they're getting a little. Getting a little uh, on there. Um, okay, so. Damn, what do I want to do first? Let's just do the research. Start the research. There we go. And let's go ahead and go in. We're going to make a beeline for the John Bull, which is here. So we need to do this all locomotive power first. And we'll stick all 10 sci scientists on that. Cool. So we've got GAT. And T4, okay, so how much is get these? I, I'm very interested in seeing how much these are uh, profiting us. How much money is it gonna make us? Looking like. Ooh, nice. That is a nice payoff, okay. Cool. I like it. All right. So with that, we have 15,000 now. Um, we definitely need to get our repair shop going. Um, okay. So this one here, not too bad yet. So we're going to leave that off for now. But let's see. Let's make sure all of our trains have a repair option. Okay. So this one doesn't. And that's going from Cooksville to... Chattanooga. So that's what I was saying. So we need one in uh, 
Chattanooga as well. So let's go ahead and do that. Da -da -da -da. Here we go. All right, so that's all our trains. They have a repair option. Cool. Very important that because you do not want them to break down. That is very bad. You go into debt very quickly if your trains can't get to their destinations. All right. So I think I'm going to break this episode into, I mean, um, break this mission into two episodes. Um, but we'll get pretty far into it for this episode, maybe about halfway through. I'd like to start delivering. I'd like to go ahead and um, hook up the cotton fields here and, and go ahead and deliver to uh, Nashville. Start doing that because we have, um, yeah, so we have leather starting to be made and we actually need to uh, make sure that we um, start offloading some of that leather so when the um, when the wheat gets delivered there it's getting used up because I think if it doesn't get used up and I'm not sure about this but I think if it doesn't get used up when it goes to deliver it won't be able to deliver to there like after this 20 is uh, at zero to tw uh, zero of 20 now but after that fills up and after these fill up I don't think we'll be able to deliver here. Well, we'll be be able to deliver to the city, but not to the farm. And I I want to deliver to the farm. That's uh, more profitable, by the way. Okay. With that said, let's go ahead and buy uh, another train, and let's go ahead and just do that. And this train is going to be multi-purpose. Uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. No, um, and that's pretty slow. So we'll just do two for now. And we're going to do a few passengers, so we're going to go up to Knoxville with this leather. Um, once we're at Knoxville, we'll grab a few passengers while we're up there. Um, just two, f no, uh, three, three, whatever. <laughs> it's good. All right, three passengers, and then we'll offload the two leather. That looks good to me. Um, and hey, there's two repair options. Very nice. Okay, so there goes T5, Terminator 5. I'll be back. All right, so good, we're making good money. Um, now let's see how long we have on our real estate thing. I don't wanna do this until I have to because once we do this, then the ticker starts for the next phase of our, uh, of our goals here, of our mission objectives. So I wanna lay off that one as long as I can, which shouldn't be a problem. <laughs> um, in the meantime, I'd like to do as much as I can to go for the goals that I know we need to do. Um, we can do this one at any time. So um, I guess that'd be a next one. Let's see how we're doing here. Ah, it's completed. Let's do the John Bull. And I'd like to get this out of the way too, because we're still running these trains. So let's go ahead and just put five on that and five on the John Bull. All right, so that should help um, once, we, once we're able to buy the John Bulls. Now, even though we're not gonna be using these anymore, um, I still wanna do that because it, it would annoy me if it's still there going, hey, didn't, you didn't research me and my obsessive compulsive disorder tendencies would get in the way <laughs> and say, uh, it would annoy me basically. <laughs> All right, how are our trains doing for maintenance? All right, so we're getting a little yeller. Uh, so let's go with this one. He's going to Chattanooga now, so once he gets to Chattanooga, we'll get him repaired. This one's going to Cooksville, um, although Cooksville and Knoxville, whatever. So we'll do that when he gets to Knoxville and do this one. So that'll be those three out of the way. And I think these two down here, T4 and T5, should be fine for now. Cool. Looking good. Looking very good, actually. All right. I'd like to double line this as well, but for now, I think we're okay. So let's go ahead and I think other research. Yep. Okay. Um, I guess we have enough to start the employee thing. Fifteen thousand. Oh, that's so expensive. Whatever. <laughs> so 
I want to make sure I don't go into debt here and that's 7,000. Okay, so that took care of staff to hire. That now we can hire three employees for the office and that's one of our optional goals or optional objectives because you can see it is silver here. Um, but I do want this experience points. So we're going to do that. Let's see what we got. Let's pause. Let's look at these employees for a second. Um, and to hire employees, um, I thought you would go here and then hire employees, but there's no button to go here. So it's your HR department, whatever. Um, but it's kind of like buying trains and buying tracks. It's, it's just kind of stuck over here. Um, so let's see what we got. We got construction cost of rails minus 20. That's very, very nice. Um, construction cost of stations. That's not so great because I'm only probably going to do two more stations, maybe three. Um, but we're going to do a ton of rails. So construction sauce, sauce, construction sauce <laughs> uh, of stations now. What's this guy? Price of all local. Oh, that's good as well. So let's get this guy. I like that. Tunnels. We're not going to be doing any tunnels, so that's going to be useless to us. Um, construction cost of rails. Yeah, sure. We'll do that one. Um... So we need to get another, we need to upgrade a little bit, maybe. So, okay, so by 40 and that's $10,000, oh, we don't have enough. Okay, so we'll hire the third one in a little while. That's fine. We'll just keep that for now. Looks good to me. So that'll reduce our rail costs and um, our train costs, which is also, Super cool. All right. So let us go ahead and let's go ahead and start double tracking this after T4 goes there because that's going to be a good payoff and that should allow us. Actually, we'll just start it now and by the time we get done, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure we'll be rolling in cash. Um, okay. Again, like I say, everything's in the beginning of this, in the beginning of each scenario. Oops, I didn't want to do that. In the beginning of each scenario, you want to make sure that you have very profitable routes. Because if you don't and you go and start going into debt, it just, it just, you lose. <laughs> That's basically what happens. Um, okay, and we'll just do it to there. And I'm fine with these being single tracks because if something's wanting to go into this junction, it'll just have to wait till a train you know, kind of uses these and goes into one of the double tracks. I, that's my theory anyways, and that's how I see it. Um, I hope that works that way. <laughs> we'll see. All right, cool. All right, cool. Now we have 38. So we have that double track. We have 38,000, almost 30, 39. So we're going to go over here to Fort Payne. And how long do we have for this? So 100, we're doing very well on time, by the way. So, just saying. All right, so let's, um, I'd like to do it on the thinnest part of the, looks like this here maybe. That's kind of thin, so let's go down into this section here. Because we don't want the bridge being too clunky or too big. So that's bridge 5800. I think that's as good as we're getting. Yeah. Oh, 57. I saw 57. I can't get it again. <laughs> Whatever. 5800 is gonna be. It's gonna be just fine. There we go. Okay. And we're just gonna kind of scoot over here around the trees, sort of. Oops. No. Yeah, that works. 18,000. That's because of the bridge. That's fine. Okay. So with that, we want to we want to start delivering cotton, but we won't do it yet. Yeah, we'll do it now. Whatever. Let's have them start making cotton. And I don't know if the textiles. See, my my thing is, my I'm thinking here. I'm not sure if the textile factory price will go up once we start delivering, because then they're making a profit. Kind of curious about that. I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Let's just start delivering. Um, let's just start delivering cotton there, so they can start building or start creating textiles. Okay. 
And we still don't have John Bull. So John Bull's almost done. Let's put our other resource or other sciences uh, scientists on there. Um, yeah. Okay. So where's our train? Here we go. We're going to cotton is pretty light, so kind of do that now. Let's. There we go. That that should be fine. So three. You know what? Uh, let me put. I'm gonna put this guy on something else. Actually, let's give him. Let's give him. Uh, I don't know. Oh, I know. Let's give him meat from uh, Chattanooga to. Um, yeah, Knoxville takes meat or. Uh, Nashville takes meat. So let's do that. So let's just do the meat from here. How many can we do? Two. No, just two. <laughs> Jaws to two. And we'll deliver it to Nashville, Tennessee. And while we're there, we might as well pick up some passengers. So our return trip is not useless. And let's go ahead and unload those passengers at Chattanooga. Yeah, that's a little money maker for us right there. I like it. Okay. How are we doing? So 33,000, and how's our research? Are we done with this yet? Come on, guys. I mean, it's a train. It's not like, it's not a rocket. <laughs> um, okay, so let's see here. Do we have any more employees that we can hire? Ah, so we have a fresh new, fresh batch. Um, however, we still need space. Um, let's see. So, how much was it to upgrade this? All right, $10,000 it is. Sure, why not? All right, so let's see who else will benefit us. Cost of research, it's good. Construction of station, no. Oh, here's a double. Construction cost and cost. Construction cost to... Mm. Oh, soil work, so that's kind of like the rails. I like, kind of like that. Huh. Well. Let's see what else we got here. Construction station, tunnels. Okay, so you're it, Mr. Charles Ellett. All right, so that is that objective done. Um, how are we doing here? So 102 days, hmm. And I'm waiting for the John Bull. Okay, we're done, cool. So I'm going to go ahead and start all of these And let's see, we got four more. So one, two, three, and four. There we go. So we don't have to worry about research for a while. <laughs> we got all the things going. And let's go ahead and buy a John Bull to take the cotton from Fort Payne. Oh, okay. So that is 18 out of 30. No, so four. Yeah, four will do it. So 27. Yeah, I like it. And we will deliver the cotton here. While we're there, we will pick up just two passengers, just so we can make a little money coming down here, because we'll pick up the passengers on the return trip, drop them off at Chattanooga. Because that will also allow us to put a um, repair shop on the route. That works. Ooh, we have a red one. What's going on here? Oh dear. So it's going to Knoxville. Where is it now? Is it broken down? Oh, it's is it's repairing? Okay, why did you not Oh. Sorry. It's going to Knoxville. Okay, so hopefully that guy doesn't break down on the way. Cool. 
All right, let's see what our new trans doing. Do we have anybody else that needs? No. Oh, maybe this guy. Uh, he's going to Chattanooga, so he'll repair there. And you're going to Fort Payne, and you're picking up. How you doing here, T7? Let's look at a train. Ooh, that's nice. I like it. It's a John Bull. It's a cool looking train. Got a little cow catcher on the front as well. Nice. All right. All right. So he's on his way. Okay, so we have enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy. I hate to do it this early, but we're <laughs> really running out of things. Well, we have 70 days left. So, um, so let's go ahead and pause. So we have 54,000, so that should be enough to buy the textile factory, even before the first cotton delivery, so that's good. And the textile factory is 46, yep, so we should be okay there. And there we go. Okay, so now our closed delivery, and we're, we're going to have to deliver clothes, and um, we're gonna be delivering clothes from Knoxville. As soon as we get start getting um, textiles made in Nashville, we'll have to start delivering them to Knoxville, and then from Knoxville, the clothes they'll be making clothes will be will be delivering those to Atlanta. Um, so yeah, so that's going to be the. I'm um, going to leave it here, guys. But that's going to be the next episode. We'll we'll do all that. Um, we have. We're doing very well, actually. So, and there's a few more um, uh, mission objectives that'll pop up as well. I think we have to deliver. Um, I'm pretty sure, like uh, to Birmingham, some textiles to Birmingham. So we'll make a line down from Nashville directly, all going all the way down to Birmingham there. And we'll add maybe another cotton train, and of course, um, do all the other mission goals. So, um, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to be notified for some more videos like next week we'll be doing um we'll be finishing up this mission and maybe starting the third mission um go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and um hit that bell icon too because you won't get notifications otherwise um yeah so i hope you guys liked it and i will uh i'll see you guys very very soon thanks for coming along for the ride bye for now